God bless you. You are welcome to today's Open Heaven Devotion, written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Vassal of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Philip Oyetunji, the pastor of RCCG, the King's Parish, based in East London. Our topic today is Let God Help You, Part 1. The Bible passage is taken from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall heed the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be deferred by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The memory verse is from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Let's go to reflections. Adam, the first man that God created, had been enjoying good fellowship with God until he fell into sin at the Garden of Eden where God put him. Sin is the transgression of the law of God, according to 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Man disobeyed God, and this presented a great barrier between him and God, who is holy and cannot interact with sinful men. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2 says, Behold, the lost hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, nor is ear heavy, that he cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. For thousands of years, man has struggled to get rid of this barrier, but to no avail. The holy God, knowing fully well that the sinful man could not come to him in this state, in his infinite mercy, decided to help man solve this problem. He has made a way through Jesus Christ for man to be reconciled back to God. By genuine repentance from sin and believing in Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, the fellowship with God can be restored. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 29 says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Leading with sin, leading with problem, you can come to Jesus. He will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Unfortunately, many are not responding to this most important call. Are you struggling with the barrier of sin? You cannot help yourself. Only Jesus Christ can help you. You might have been carrying the guilt of sins you have committed for years and do not know how to remove them. If you can surrender your life to Jesus today in true repentance, believe in Him with all your heart and confess Him as your Lord and Savior, your sins shall be forgiven and you shall be saved. Look at these references in 1 John 3, 8, Romans 5, 8, and 11, and Romans chapter 10, 9 to 10. Do not postpone. Come to Jesus today, and he will help you. Action point. Father, have mercy on me, and give me power over and above sin in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on me, and give me power over and above sin in Jesus' name. As you pray this prayer, I believe God will bring about a transformation in your life in Jesus' name. Until we see at another time, God bless you and goodbye for now.